What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope all is good wherever you are in this video. We're gonna watch Malik from Man vs. Street. He's gonna be hitting the pavement, talking to some black Americans and some white Americans about a voter ID. Now these guys, they do great work on their channel, so go check them out if you have a second. It is not an easy job having to go out into the world and talk to leftoids all day. So they're doing good work out here. And big shout out to all my regulars who are always showing up for me, hitting the like button, commenting down below. I I appreciate all of you. Now, let's get into the video. Do you think voter ID laws are racist? I think so. Most of the motivation behind them being put into place is rooted in racism. I think voter ID laws are inherently discriminatory when you look. The, the vast majority of people who do not currently have IDs are uh, people of color. Do you have an ID? Absolutely. Can you show us? Yeah. Boom. What do you have to say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? I don't even know why they would say that. We can get the same things that every other American can get. That doesn't even make sense to me. Republicans are just trying to make it really fucking hard for minorities to vote. Why do they do that? Because they hate black people. They fucking hate black people and they're racist. The black population is like historically much more um, financially like disadvantaged. All Republicans are racist. That just came out of his mouth. All Republicans are racist as he's standing there telling us that it's harder for black people to get voter ID than it is for white people. Come on, brother. Come on now. I mean, this girl with the hat, tell me you have your pronouns in your bio without telling me you have your pronouns in your bio. Today we can sometimes see that sort of continuation of racism through our voting system in like education and things like that. And typically people who are less educated are less likely to vote. You're uh, disproportionately making people who don't have IDs, which are usually people of color, have to go out and pay to vote which is going to disencourage a lot of those people from voting. Do you have an ID? I do. Can you show us your ID? For sure. What would you say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? Seek help. I mean, in America, the legacy of white supremacy of perpetuating negative stereotypes for black and brown bodies. That's why they would think like that, but it's 2023, man, almost 2024. It's time to seek help for that. Hey man, sister, seek help. These same Muppets are the same people that just a couple of years ago would have wanted you to show a vaccine ID in order to order food at Starbucks. But identification to vote for the highest office in your country, that's a no-no. Make it make sense. These people must not have any black friends or know any black people. If you're a citizen of the country, an actual citizen of the country and not an illegal, if you're born there, you'll have ID. If you've immigrated there legally, while you're going through the immigration process, the government does that for you. They give you the papers, you file for your ID. So do you think voter ID laws suppress the African-American vote? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why? They might like require like a specific type of ID, like getting a, when I had to get a new passport, it was like over a hundred bucks. So that definitely also like roots out on um, the lower classes, like in general. They're not going to want to vote if they have to go spend all that money to be able to do so. A lot of minorities are suffering from poverty when you make people pay money to get IDs, uh, a lot of times um, people just won't vote. They won't think it's worth it. They don't have the money, to, extra money to spend, you know? Yeah, they're not gonna put uh, uh, like the couple dollars that they have into uh, voting for somebody who's probably not even gonna help them out. The couple of dollars that they have, and the girl before that said, well, a passport's a hundred bucks, so minorities wouldn't be able to afford that. What is going on here? Did you just think all black people are broke or don't drive cars? I mean, you need an ID to get around in the world. You can tell that these people went to these very liberal universities by the terms that they use in these videos. And the man before her that was speaking said, hey, there's nothing that white people can do in America that black people can't do in America. Man, exactly. Do you have an ID? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Can you show us your ID? Perfect. What do you have to say to all the people that say that black Americans can't get voter ID? Well, I think it's pretty stupid. Like we are, we're in a country where all of us are majority educated and we have the resources at our hands and our disposal to easily find these things. Um, so I think anybody saying that is just dumb. Like that's a really ignorant and stupid thing to say. Why do you think it's so much harder for black Americans to obtain voter ID? It's generally the history of racism. Like we say we fixed it, but the system was basically built from the ground up in racism. Do you think it suppresses the African-American vote? Yes, I do. Why? In the past, we've seen, you know, African-Americans 
being given like tests that have nothing to do with what voting is about um, just in order to obtain a voting license or voting voter identification. So I think that that's something that we're still seeing remnants of today. So what do you have to say to all the people that say black Americans can't get voter ID? I say it's really a lie. It's all on, it's all on really the person. If the person really want to get their ID, they can go get it. There's nothing really stopping them. Why do you think it's harder for black Americans to obtain voter ID? Uh, well, it's really, it's a class issue. And because of systemic racism, it's uh, usually people of color, so black Americans. Uh, who are at the bottom of the socioeconomic classes, which means that they will have the most trouble like having to pay to go get voter ID law or voter IDs. You motherfuckers racist as hell. Why the fuck wouldn't black people have that? What's the difference between between us and you? Exactly. What is the difference? The young fella before him was struggling to get through his politically correct talking points. Give me a break. The education system in the West is completely broken right now. Do you think it's harder for black Americans to sign up online to get their voter ID? Harder, not necessarily, but less likely, yes. Why? In underfunded communities due to, you know, redlining and gerrymandering, we see that there's lower education in those specific areas, which have a high um, amount of, you know, minorities. And when you're not, when you're less educated, you're less likely to vote. And I think that that's what makes it so difficult for people of color to vote. Seek help. Medical professionals are everywhere. Mental health is a priority. And yeah. Man, exactly. Seek help. Hell, oh my god, this is where you really see that the universities that these kids are going to are just brainwashing the crap out of them. I reacted to a Michael Knowles video a few days back and he said something that stuck with me is white liberals are very good at being offended on the behalf of others and that's exactly what we're seeing here. These white leftist liberal students thinking that most black people are poor, thinking that they can't get their own ID. Like, Do they not see black people in their communities working with them going to school with them do these people not have ids and i'll say the same thing that i said at the beginning of this video during the pandemic these would be the same nut jobs that would be requiring everybody to have a vaccine id in order to get a cup of coffee or a takeout meal you can't make this stuff up guys you can't make this stuff up go subscribe to man versus street go check out their content they do great stuff there's three main guys on the channel, Joel, Malik, and I forget the other fellow's name. Uh, the content is really good. And I'll have another reaction from one of their videos coming out later this week. I just filmed it this morning. I got to edit it still. So that's it for this video. Smash that thumbs up button if you're still here. Consider subscribing to the channel. Help it grow. I'll catch all of you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.